pollen, pet dander, mold. It's the time of the year for seasonal allergies that can make us miserable. Do you have a remedy your old wives tale you turn to for relief? Our Colleen Campbell spoke to an allergist at UT Health to find out if those old tricks really work. If you're someone who suffers from seasonal allergies, you may do just about anything for relief, but there may be some myths tied to those remedies. I spoke to Dr. Jonathan Butcherum from UT Health to separate fact from fiction. First question up, changing the car's cabin air filter. Does it make a difference? Those air filters are usually not HEPA filters. Um, in the car, things will still get through the filter. Um, one thing that is true though, is if you put it on recirculating inside air, that keeps you from drawing as much into the car with you. Next, what about eating local raw honey? Does that help? That's actually untrue because bees pick up entomophilus pollens. Um, those are pollens that are spread by insects, um, but those aren't the pollens that cause seasonal allergy syndrome. Seasonal allergies are caused by anemophilous pollens or pollens that are spread by the wind. Although I will say, yes, it's very tasty and I like it in my tea. <laughs> All right, last one. Will rain rinse away pollen? Rain can be helpful or can be hurtful. Um, in patients who are tree pollen allergic or weed pollen allergic, a lot of times the, the rain will drive down those pollens and they feel better for a few days. In patients who are grass pollen allergic, they can get worse. Grass pollens are smaller and lighter and they are easily aerosolized with rains. And so they stay suspended in that humid air for a few days after a rain um, and actually can make seasonal allergies worse if you're grass allergic. So we busted the myths. What can we do for relief? Avoidance is helpful. It's difficult, but it does help. Um, so if you know you're allergic, um, I wouldn't say don't go outside, but the more you're outside, the more symptomatic you're going to be. Um, if you're inside, keep doors and windows closed. You don't get a lot of pollens or mold spores in your home unless it's open. Another tip, rinse off before bed. If you're outdoors all day long, you're picking up pollens and mold spores in your hair and in the oils on your skin. So we definitely want you to shower at nighttime so you don't take all those things to bed with you. For medication, Dr. Buttram says the most effective would be a nasal steroid. The real key to nasal steroids though is they're the most helpful, but they have to be used every day. Dr. Butcherum also wanted to stress that if you have any unusual symptoms, such as a fever, you should make an appointment with your doctor. We've got you covered East Texas. Colleen Campbell, CBS 19.